guys, welcome to uh, another episode of Clueless Eats, I think this will be classed as. I've uh, got something a little bit different and uh, I've been seeing these around for a while but I'm not sure if these are the exact same ones but it's essentially uh, Pokemon uh, drinks. Now I picked this up from uh, an Asian supermarket in Manchester um, on Oxford Road, I can't remember what it was called but it's like got two floors. And uh, yeah, I was just like in heaven going in there, um, especially for the uh, the instant ramen noodles because I just love them. And I know that's not like a true representation of Asian cuisine or culture, but um, there's something so satisfying about instant ramen. And then of course you can actually cook with it as well. Uh, I've seen some really interesting recipes on doing stir fry and that sort of thing. Anyway, so. I uh, picked up a couple of cans, uh, one with uh, Charmander, which is flav well orange flavour, and then one with uh, Pikachu, which is a cider flavour. So yeah, I'm not too sure what to expect from that, I'm just expecting apple sort of flavours, uh, produced in Taiwan. And uh, yeah, Ocean Bomb. I'm not sure if that's the company or not. I think it is. But yeah, I do like sparkling water, to be honest. Um, I can't drink still water. Uh, it has to be sparkling. And uh, there are actually some subtle differences uh, with the layout of the cans on this. Because uh, there you go. You get like really nice, uh, beautiful artwork there. Uh, with the Pokemon logo and then you just get that there and of course you get the import stickers put there as well so uh, yeah taking me back to my childhood Pokemon cards can't believe uh, my younger brother sold off my uh, shiny collection well didn't even sell it off he just swapped it for something shit and you know I could have made a few quid there uh, not really. I don't know if Pokemon cards are actually valuable or if that's just sometimes someone will pay stupid amounts of money. Anyway, so it's absolutely boiling day today and uh, I thought I'd finally get these open. They've been in the fridge for like a week now. Um, so yeah, let's get them both opened and see what we get. I'm imagining the orange flavour is going to be a fairly safe bet to be honest. Uh, because I do like stuff like uh, San Pellegrino, which I've, I've heard is described as Tory water or something like that, which I think is wonderful. Uh, but it, it does taste good. And sparkling water is the only water that I can drink, really. So, and then we've got the cider flavour. So let's see what this one's like. Oh, I don't know if I actually held that up when I was pouring it. Um, but both are pretty much identical. In fact, I'm going to move these away because it's starting to pick up the wind now. So this is the orange, and this is the cider flavour. So crystal clear, dirty beer gods. Let's go to those bubbles. Um, and I can smell, you know, the, both flavours here already. So I think I'm actually going to start with the, the cider one. So let's have a little bit of a sniff. It sort of smells like um, like apple sour sweets, or do you know the the raspberry? I don't know what they're called. I know they're they're all over the world, but in the UK you used to get these really cheap flavored like sugar drinks in like little plastic containers that you pop the straw in but you could sometimes you could like put them in the freezer and you've got you know like a, an estate um, council estate ice pop but um yeah it's reminded me of like a, a berry flavor but then again i'm getting a little bit of a it's like apple starburst character very sweet on the nose as you would expect so yeah, let's give it a taste. Ugh, don't like that. No, no, no. Straight away, that's just... You get a little bit of that sparkling water, but then like this syrupy character comes through loads on this one. 
I do not like that. Uh, that's not nice at all. It's not refreshing, it's not fizzy enough. It just gets syrupy, glucosey. That flavour is just just generic sweetness. It's not even like a a cider like character about or even like an apple, you know, generic flavour. It's just not nice. Nah, don't like that. Oh, the aftertaste is awful on that. Fucking hell. I'm swearing on Pokemon drinks. You know, probably the most family friendly subject that I've had in Shell on there. Effort and blinded. It, rightly so, because that is fucking awful. Really, really bad. Ah, it's lying in my mouth. I don't like that at all. Anyway, let's see what we get on the orange one. It smells exactly the fucking same. There's like maybe a subtle, dip your nose in, subtle citrus character coming through, but it's just that. The way I describe that beer is the same as how I describe the beer. Water is how I wouldn't even describe that as sparkling water at this point. But yeah, this doesn't smell promising either, to be honest. <sighs> Although there's a little bit of like a lemonade character coming through. Like a cloudy lemonade. The citrus character is actually coming out a bit more once I've got that initial hint of sweetness. It's sherbety. They're both very sherbety. Not what you'd want with sparkling water. I don't think that these are designed to be refreshing anyway. I think it's just a bit of fun. You know, for the kids and people who, you know, are big fans and still are of Pokemon. But, um, nah, mate, that is that Apple one. I just can't get over how awful that is. Let's see if this picks up. Cheers. Okay, that's got a bit of promise to it. Still way too sweet. Still way too syrupy. But you actually get the fizzy water aspect of this one. It's just like you've you got two lolly ices. Let the the melt so you get that really intense liquid left over. And then you've just poured a bit of like um, sparkling water that's been you know, you've had in the fridge for about a week and you've been sipping out of it. You know you get like that saliva character at the bottom of like a, a bottle of coke or something that's been shared by people mm. it's just too sweet it's too syrupy they both are this actually has a bit of an orange sherbet a little bit of like orange dip dab sort of character but it's still just way too much it's way too heavy and it's water that's flavored uh, I'm, I'm going to stick to you know beer pumps and stick to my uh, like blood orange San Pellegrino because this is just it's fucking annoying. Do you know what I mean? I was expecting something uh, with these. I wasn't expecting to be blown away, but oh no, no. This is a failure. They're, they're, they're horrible. They are genuinely horrible. Sorry Charmander, sorry Pikachu, but you taste fucking shit, mate. Yeah, that's awful. It's just, get it, you know, if you're into Pokemon, if you want to keep the cans, if, if you, you know, you Pokemon display or something, or if you've got kids who are into Pokemon and they, they drink sweet drinks anyway. But don't go into these under the impression that you're getting like a, a refreshing, first quenching, sparkling water with a bit of flavour. I'd rather they were boring. If they're just way too sweet. I do not like them at all. And I will not be getting any more flavours. Um, but yeah, if you like them, you like them. Doesn't really matter at the end of the day what I think. But uh, if you see them or you've been wanting them, should I pick them up? Do yourselves a favour and don't get something a little bit more interesting uh, from your local international supermarkets. Ah, 
this, the flavour in my mouth now is awful. It really, really is. I do not like them at all. Uh, that is a distinct failure on both accounts, and um, I'll now have to wash my mouth out with beer, which is never a bad thing. So if you have tried them, I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. Cider flavour. I don't know why they've called that cider flavour. There's nothing cider-like about it at all. Um, but yeah, if you have tried them, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, what flavours do you like? What's some of your favourite gimmicky sort of branded soft drinks or whatever? They are soft drinks. They're not sparkling water. They are soft drinks. <coughs> and, and even on that, even if they were, you know, that sort of thing going into them, they're just not nice. They're not pleasant at all. And I'm, I'm not even going to do a cuvee because I'm not going to put myself through that. So yeah, uh, it was to be expected, but it's still fucking annoying. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, apologies to any Pokemon fans who I may have offended. See you guys later, and you all take care. Cheers.